What's going on? Back plugged in again. What's your boy the Prophet, man? So today, yo, we got some spicy information for y'all, man. I, this is like a much requested banner. I've had so many people asking me, you know, when will the Yamamoto, the Uabot, and the Genryu Asai, when will they return? The answer is now, okay? So these characters will be dropping again tomorrow. So this is the first ever rerun of these characters. So Thousand and Blood War Essence summons the Blood Warfare featuring Cher Sama, Yuhabak, and Bankai Gimri Sachiku Kuni Yamamoto. And this is gonna be available from tomorrow. It's gonna be available for 18 days. So this banner is essentially going away like four days before the poll selection banner drops. So um, that's pretty much where that is. That's a time frame longer than usual. Pretty much um, just over about two and a half weeks that the banner is going to be available. So let's take a look at the fillers right here. So we have the Yua Baku. This character is very, very good, not only in PvP, but he's also, he has the booster skill, which gives his boost like 10% more efficiency. So uh, the best boost that you can have in the game is what he has essentially. Um, then this Yamamoto, man, if you are <laughs> like, this is the best character in the game. There's no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. There's no questions. There's no qualms about it. This is the best character in the game right now. This character right now is a guild quest menace, okay? If you have him five of five, bro, you can literally sub one second. I would say like a quarter of the active guild quests available right now. Like the character is just ultra powerful, the best kit possible, the best nuke damn near possible. He's pretty much a perfect character all around. Um, then we have this Aizen who he's very, very good at ranged Arankar killer. So he's one of the, he is the best option for that week of guild quests. So um, you do have these three characters as the main characters of the banner. Then we have Sinjumaru, Kirio Hikafune, and Tenjiro Kirinji. I mean, as far as the other three characters, yes, they are. Well, these three characters, of course, they're Thousand and Blow War, along with these three characters as well. Um, I, I actually do like it that they have the OG Cherisama and the OG Bankai Yamamoto in the banner as well. Like, I low-key, I'm not sure if I'm going to do two steps or five steps, but my soy phone is four or five, and I don't have Yuha Bak at all. My only... You know, like um, the the negative thing about this banner is I have a five of five Bankai Yama and I use move sources on him. So basically, it's like any extra dupe is like a kick in the ball sack. Okay, but I mean, regardless, even so, the whole thing about that is I've had a Max Transcendent. I wanted him Max Transcendent from day one. That was a goal. That was a mission. So you know. Maybe I won't let that deter me from potentially, you know, snagging at least one of five you have bought. My eyes is two of five, but I mean, soy phone really, you know, having getting her five of five that will help me, you know, in melee wrong card week of guild quest, but it's not going to do anything super crazy. As far as Shinju, Shinjumaru, Kirio, and um, Kirinji, all are very, very outdated. None of them have any real use inside a meta or any game mode that has any relevancy right now. So, you know, really, there's really only three main characters in this banner. If you're like, if you haven't been playing for forever and you don't have, you know, any of the six uh, characters that are filler, then that's going to be better for your account. But, you know, um, definitely worth it. Just want to, okay, so 4.5 and 1.5. Let's see. Featured. Okay, so 4.5% chance, and there are 1.5% uh, at the other five star, meaning you can get premium characters and all that type of stuff. Um, we will have five guaranteed five stars, so it'll go up to 25 steps. Captain Killer, Weak and Poise, mm -hmm. Flurry plus two. I didn't even realize you had Flurry plus two, to be honest with you. Holy shit. Um,. Yeah, the man, this guy, like I said, right now he's the best PvP character. This Yamoto is the best character in the entire game. Yeah, yeah, definitely the best character in the game. And then Ranger on Car Killer for the Aizen. So um, that's pretty much this. This is like pretty huge. A lot of people have been, you know, wanting these characters to return. So that's pretty much the news that we got in that regard. 
not exactly sure what my plan for this banner will be like i'm at a point where i want to save every single orb possible and you guys should be there too um except that this has two of the best characters at what they do and to be fair aizen is the best normal attack he's the best auto in the game too so that banner just fucking stacked to the wall um so this Gein solar banner is going to be available don't really see any real reason to go for this Gein is no affiliation killer with the heart droplet drop so that's actually pretty good um guard break frenzy heart link slot potion yeah so so he's a pretty good farming character but aside from that that's pretty much going to be it um the other very very huge news that we have i know there's been a lot of people waiting we expected this to come out in october but we do have burn the witch returning which it makes sense because these are christmas characters like you know the most you know these are Christmas characters. So Christmas Nini Noel will return. So Nini, uh, and these are going to be your super potion characters, okay? So we have um, Nini, who is the heart super potion character. Noel, who's the speed super potion character. Then we have Bruno coming along. And he's still actually a very, very good unit. My Bruno's 3 of 5, my Nini's 3 of 5, and my Noel is 5 of 5. So I probably won't be doing any summons on this banner. My OG Noel's 5 of 5, and my OG Nini's 5 of 5. So the Machine Sadi Yorowichi, she's actually a really good unit. Um, I actually use her for this week at Guild Quest. Um, Hollow, Killer, and she's a booster. So any dupes of her would be pretty good. Uh, Kukaku Shiba, Orient Society version. Uh, not not super great she's okay in guild quest and the fierce battle ikaku so basically just weighing up this banner i mean i'm not gonna say that like these characters lost a lot of value Let, let's let's keep it real um not that they're not great but they are both heavily dependent on having killer and something like it when they have killer you know they're gonna proc status elements at a higher rate but um well nini she actually has uh, the skill where she procs Weaken, uh, Innervator I believe it's called, where she procs Weaken every five seconds. So she's always going to be really good in GQ, but now they're pretty much replacing these characters with characters that do potions, super potions, and also give you droplets. And, you know, have, um, you know, they're going to be better when they don't have killer compared to these two characters. However, Noel is still like top five nu best nukers in the entire game games like she might be what top three or four right now but she is still one of the best characters to have on your roster for guild quest so in that regard she's never going to lose you know value as a guild quest nuker she has an extremely extremely powerful soul bomb so uh make sure you guys win we don't have any exact uh date on this but i surmise that we're gonna have this banner in maybe like three days uh no more than three days so um, that's pretty much it. Those are the main two banners. We got some information about these tickets. Senkaimon Quest Support Pack Golden. I don't think we've ever got one of these. Um, just has a lot of characters that are going to be really good for specific Senkaimon floors. So um, keep that in mind. But like I said, these are of course paid tickets. So you know, wouldn't really stress on that if you're not uh, in a position to be buying them. The uh, the lighter Senkaimon pack, this one is going to be like 23 bucks. I'm sure this one's going to be a 585, so it's going to be like 80 bucks USD. Um, just take a look at these characters real quick. Mahmood! Oh! Okay. Um, uh, yeah, this one has a lot less use. I mean, this Orihime, she definitely does have um, a floor or two and a couple towers for like human characters with sword per killer or human characters with whatever, right? Um, Fendor is pretty solid in Guild Quest as well. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We did get the news of um, Tower of Oblivion, Gates of Oblivion added. That will be dropping on the 5th of December. So um, it's gonna be dropping in about three days. So yeah, man, make sure you guys win. Let me know what you guys plan for these two banners. You know, are you gonna be summoning for this Essence banner? Like I said, I know a lot of people really really want these characters so uh, make sure you guys weigh in like i said yamamoto the best pve character in the game yuha bak the best pvp character and aizen is the best ottawer in the game so you have some this is a stack banner no matter how you slice it so make sure you guys win let me know what's your plan are you going to be summoning or are you going to be skipping a banner is post selection more important is end of year the you know the um, anticipation for that is that more important make sure you guys win because it's very important i want to know you guys stance on the banner but hope you guys enjoyed the video till next time probably do love y'all